Let's see if we could do 2022. This is set. Set to. Uh, micro. Obviously micro. Sugar is produced in a perfectly competitive market using input from perfectly competitive factor markets. Frank Sugar Company is a representative in the sugar market. Assume Frank Sugar Company is earning zero economic profits. Draw a correctly labeled side-by-side -side graph of the market for Frank Sugar Company. Show the price and quantity, PM and QM. Profit maximizing price and quantity for sugar, PF, QF. All right, so we're just a side-by-side -side graph. Perfectly competitive, right? So supply, demand, here's our market. Easy enough. And we're gonna do our firm. We should go right through there. This is our Mr. DARP curve. Marginal revenue, demand, average of revenue, and price. Here's our marginal cost curve. This is price, price, quantity, quantity. Profit max is always where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So that's my quantity right there. Uh, they're making zero economic profits. That implies that tells me where my ATC has to just cut through that point right there. So there's my ATC. It looks like we're in long run. Zero economic profit means long run equilibrium. So we are in long run equilibrium, not only the market, but the firm. Easy enough. And then we just make sure we label everything correctly, right? So this should be PM, tick, 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 tick. that's QM, this is PF, and this should be QF. All right. Assume the demand for sugar increases and the sugar is produced in a constant cost industry. We'll talk about what that means in a second. The demand for sugar increases. There we go. Demand just increased. That's going to drive up the price. We've got a new Mr. Darp. As soon as that price went up, this is our new, there's one, there's two. Uh, we got a new quantity that the firm is producing. Let's call it QN. Obviously, there's a new price, P2, and what am I calling that right there? Show the short run increase in demand. We did it. Price labeled P2 and the quantity sold is Q. Oops, that should be QM right there. Oh, no, Frank Sugar Company. P2, PF. Ah, I have a lot of words. Price P2, quantity sold by Frank is QN. Compared to the equilibrium quantity, what will happen? So I'm just going to call this QM2, and I'm going to call that PM2. Easy enough, right? So they didn't really tell me what to do there. Lots of times they do, so that's what was a little confusing. Uh, compared to the equilibrium identified in part A2, price and quantity, PF, QF. What will happen to the short-run profit earned by Frank? Well, we can see that the price at P2 is greater than the ATC. When your price is greater than your ATC, we have what we call positive economic profits. So compared to the equilibrium identified in A2, which would have been right here, uh, what will happen to short-run profits? We can see that profits are going to increase. Easy enough. No explanation. We just need to say that profits will increase. But the mar when the market adjusts to a long-run equilibrium, how will the market price of sugar in the long run compare to P2? Uh, it will be less than. The price is going to go back. It will be less than P2 is how I think that they want to answer that. And let's just take it through here a step so that we understand this. You have to know this long, short run to long run, well, really long run to short run, back to long run, understanding. Uh, it's very important and it's asked a lot. We haven't seen any perfect comp questions in quite a while, but we always have a plenty of them on multiple choice questions. So we start here uh, and we start here. The firm is in long run equilibrium. Demand increases. When demand increases, the price goes up. We have a new Mr. Dart. Now they're making positive economic profits. In the long run, 
firms will enter. The way we think about this is profits in the short run. Demand increased, price went up. Profits happened in the short run. In the long run, and only in the long run, firms are going to enter this market. When firms enter this market, supply is going to increase, and that's going to drive the price back down. Since it's a constant cost industry, it will drive the price back to the original price. So what we know is supply is going to increase, and it's going to go right through that spot right there. And the price is going to go back to the original price, and they'll go back to long-run equilibrium at that quantity for the firm. Obviously, the market because firms entered would reduce in a larger quantity. So you have to know that relationship. It's important to understand how to answer this. We know the price is going to go back down to the original price, and it will be less than P2. Easy to remember. All right, C, instead assume sugar consumption has a negative impact on public health over time. And the negative impact on sugar and health is underestimated by consumers. Draw a correctly labeled graph. of So it's a market or it's externality graph. It is consumption because I know it's consumption because they said that. I know it's two demand curves and only one supply curve. So this is supply. That means this has to be your MPC and your MSC. It's both MPC and MSC. If there's only one graph or one curve, it's got to be both of those. The problem here is with the negative impact. So I know that there's too much of this good being produced. What I know is that we want less of this good being produced. So I know that part right there is my socially optimal quantity because I know that this is where we're producing right this moment. This is the quantity of the market. This also must be my MPB and this must be my MSB. Now I know that since it's a negative consumption, consumption meaning two demand curves. Negative, meaning society wants less of this good. So that's how I know that that point right there is where MPB and MPC come together. That is the price of the market and the quantity of the market. Society wants less of this good. This is our socially optimal quantity. Um, let's see, QM, let's see if we've answered it already. The market equilibrium quantity is QM. The socially optimal quantity is QS. Uh, QS. I just write out socially optimal quantity. But QS is what they want. Make sure you do what they want so that they can't take points away from you. Assume the government decides to intervene in the market to affect consumers' incentives and to address the negative impact of sugar consumption on the public health. Which of the following policies would best achieve the objective in the short run? Lump sum tax per unit tax. Lump sum subsidy per unit as well which this clearly is about the difference between lump sums. First of all, we want less of this good. So we know we're going to tax it. We would never give a subsidy. So let's just get rid of the subsidies, right? It's always either between a lump sum tax if we want less, or is it a per unit tax? What we recognize is that lump sums do not affect marginal cost curve. This is just, if you're in the industry and you're producing something, this is just they're saying, hey, you got to give us an extra. The government tells them, hey, you got to pay us $10,000. That does not affect a firm's marginal cost curve. It will not get them to produce less of this good. But a per unit tax that says that for every unit of the good you produce, you have to pay the government $10. That is going to reduce the amount of good that's produced per units affect uh, marginal cost, right? In this instance, they'd make marginal costs go up. The firm is going to produce less of this good. So the idea here is not only is the price going to go up, right? That might have, the price is going to go up and the quantity is going to decrease. Where over here, the quantity would not change for a lump sum. But per unit subsidies or taxes always change price and quantity. Quantity is what we're really wanting to get to there because we want to push that amount of the good to that socially optimal quantity. All right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, if you need help, you can find me on Wyzant.
just look for uh, Charles W. And hope all is good. Keep working hard, guys. Be safe. Take care.